Yeah. What do you think the strongest class in the game is right now? Strongest class in the game, Shock Scrapper. Shock Scrapper. You think Shock Scrapper is the why? They just okay here. Um, there's not that many prerequisites to do to use their strongest hitting skills. Hmm. Um, they used to. They used to have to buff their self for 3.5 seconds. Mm -hmm. It was like a 30% damage buff, but they got rid of that. And they just, so instead of 30% attack buff, now they have, now they just have 24 or 27 skill damage increase on all their skills. So basically they got rid of all those, um, the, the, uh, those penalties. Mm all the downsides to it so right. when, when you when you're doing guardian raids or any legion raids or anything and you're playing with a shock scrapper that's similar eye level and similar similarly geared mm -hmm. are they likely to mvp oh yeah right now yeah yeah so they're just mvping left and right more than any other right. class yeah yeah definitely what would you say second and third would be on that list energy overflow soul fist is pretty strong right now too okay yeah, energy overflow. I and I'm trying to main that class. Well, not main, but have it as another main. As another one of the mains. Yeah. In this game, yeah. you really have six mains. Like if right. you think about it, right? So. Dude, and, I mean, I admit if it's strong, guys. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean? Stop talking, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys saw how fast I went over that striker section, right? This guy. I was like, this guy's talking about nerf striker. Move on. <laughs> 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 Move on. <laughs> all right so three your top three weakest classes in lost art let's hear them top three weakest classes yep dude i don't know there's no way to tell because uh they're never on the mvp screen like they don't even show their faces <laughs> on the mvp screen. yeah so I maybe guess... when we get a new mvp system we'll know true true yeah maybe when we get a new mvp system we'll find out yeah but if we like given given the information that we know now or have now, what mm. would you guess to be the top three underperforming classes? Ah, uh, there's so many different aspects to talk about if you want to, but just DPS wise, I guess DPS wise. Mm -hmm. And I, we're talking about realistic DPS. Um, we're talking about realistic DPS, not like to a, not in like a two minute parse, right? Not, not like a, not like to a dummy that's not moving like it, it realistically. It, right now in the end game in Korea, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm gonna speak from the you know the point of view of like KR players, of right? course, Who's of course, min yeah. already, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, Pinnacle Glaviers. I did hear that. I have heard yeah, that. Yeah, Pinnacle Glaviers are kind of smudge, and yeah. I think Sharpshooters are kind of smudge too. Okay, Ta okay. Speaking yeah. of sh Sharpshooters, uh huh. S speaking of Sharpshooters, right. Are they what are they running end game? Because most of them, like the min max build, is level three on both engravings, right? Is th there's like really one build at end game? Is that how it works right now for them? I'm not sure. I thought it was a uh, level three death strike and level one loyal companion. I that, thought that was yeah, the end build. I, I thought it was that, and then it uh -huh. and then the step after that, like like super super giga chad would be going level three on both. That's what I heard or something oh, like that. Oh, level three on both, and then like a level two with a nine seven rock. Would yeah, use level two like, like adrenaline or fucking something. Fucking super like min max okay, or something. Okay, I, I think that makes sense. Like two people in the world doing that or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, but technically the end game min max. Yeah. Okay. So the burst build, but we're talking about like the burst build, right? The burst build level one companion on that. That's mm -hmm. you feel like that that's one of the top three that are under underperforming. No, no, I think loyal companion is actually underperforming. Oh, just just loyal companion. Right. What if about you're death strike? Just loyal companion. Death strike. I think it's called death strike, right? Yeah, I think it's death strike is the burst build, right? It's, yeah. So if you have high uptime, you're supposed to get your DPS from the uptime. Yeah. Gunslinger and Sharpshooter, right? Because because of the long range and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. So as long as you can get all those cycles, <clears throat> and if you're experienced in a raid, I think it's not that bad. Yeah. Um, I think. 
But if I had to pick a, if I had to pick two classes that are very underperforming right now, I think it'll be Sharpshooter and Little Companion Build and uh, what was the other one that I said? Uh, the other one you said was Pinnacle Glavier. Oh yeah, Pinnacle yeah. Glavier. Yeah. Glavier. Yeah. What about the third? What about the third? Third? Yeah. Uh, hold on. I don't think there's really a class that's underperforming. I think Striker. I think Death Blow Striker, maybe. Striker, you mega high. I <laughs> can't. <laughs> <laughs> So hold on before we move on from striker what do you think about esoteric flurry striker what's the talk in korea about esoteric flurry striker the talk about eso flurry striker in korea is that there's no talk about eso <laughs> why does no one play it i don't why? know nobody plays ESO why does flurry? no one play it i've never seen one play eso flurry it's so fun but like the uptime on eso flurry is uh -huh. really high Dude, but the problem again, is you're still a back attacking melee class with short hitboxes. That's that's probably the biggest downside. So if I had to, if I wanted to find um, Esso Flurry mm -hmm. striker player, that person would not be in the content where like 15, where you where you would have to be 14, 15, right. 40 and up or something like that. Okay. I think it would be one of the alts for a budget oh. build. Gotcha. Because it is unpopular. It is the not. It is the unpopular build. Yeah. Right. It's not yeah. as expensive, so people would set it up as their alts and then just get gold from Bolton, sure, Ficus and Clown and stuff. So it's I tough to compare. One. Right. So I, I I just don't see um as a flurry strikers a lot. Yeah. It's really rare. Yeah. Fuck. I, like I'm I'm so torn. I have both legendary books already in NA, but um. Yeah, I want it because like on lower rankings, there's actually I think there's actually a guy that has an Esther weapon. Plus, I'd have to double check, but he's got an Esther pl maybe plus six. He's 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 like a top three striker on Loa that's uh -huh. playing Esoteric. Now I don't know if he just happened to oh, swap to Esoteric really? for a for a second. Yeah, Let me actually pull it up. But if it. you have an Esther weapon, I bet even if you're playing Esther Flurry build, you should be, you'll be doing enough DPS. Yeah, yeah. I'm just probably. wondering what, like, what the numbers look like end game with with that when everything's min maxed. Hmm. Uh, Shadow Hunter Perfect Suppression is actually supposed to have higher ceiling than Demonic Impulse. Oh, Summoner! Summoner DPS Summoner. Is kind of smooch right now too. Yeah. Summoner. Summoner is a um, class that I'm very much looking forward to trying out in, in NA. Oh, really? Yeah, just like the idea of it. Like the like the way the class is designed, it's very different from Striker, obviously, right? It's like, right. like the complete right. opposite. So I think uh, having that contrast would be fun to play. Mm. You know what I mean?